What's going on, YouTube? This is Necrostevo, and we're back with another live narrated battle. Um, today's narrated battle is going to be against Chewie or Mike Hobbs from Twitter. We are doing something special. We've been playing this for a while, actually, coming up with our teams. And today we're having a fourth gen generation mono battle where you can only use Pokemon from fourth gen. Furthermore, uh, you can only use one legendary Pokemon, and you can also only use one Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. So you can't have several Pokemon that can make it all from your, on your fourth gen team. Which basically, you know, that's Gardevoir and, uh, no wait, Gardevoir's third gen. That's, that's Lu Lucario. I think that's just, is that just Lucario? Holy crap, I never realized that before. Alrighty then. So my team is Electivire, which is kind of an anti-lead with the Taunt and the Ice Punch, Earthquake, Volt Switch, Gastrodon, which has Counter, which I really hope I get a chance to use. Last Resort and Bipom, so just fake out on Last Resort are its, are its moves. And uh, we also have um, the, oh boy, uh, I have an Offensive Torterra with uh, Earthquake, Woodhammer, Synthesis, Stealth Rocks, and a Specs um, Togekiss, and a Defensive Drapion. His team is looking mighty powerful with uh, dark cry there, so that's going to be a problem. If I have sleep fodder though, that won't be too bad. I can come back in and hit him with fake out. Amipom is going to be pretty useful here. I'll have to predict when to use Amipom though, because he could just bring in Dust Noir. And of course, Obama's Noah's is mega. This battle is going to be pretty difficult with Dark Cry hanging around, honestly. But it should be fun. Um let's see, let's see. He's probably gonna start off with Dark Cry or Star Raptor. I see Star Raptor being scarfed. It's very likely that Gastrodon just has um, Toxic Orb Stolly set. Oh boy, it would be great if I had more um, Ice Attacks on this team. So yeah, I think my best start is still going to be Electivire in this sense. This wolf? Yeah, because if he brings in his um, Gliscor, I can just Ice Punch the damn thing in the face. I can see why Mike wanted to redo his team. <laughs> because <laughs> he's using dark right but you know that was a self-imposed limit that i gave myself there so it doesn't really count oops i'm not recording the video all right cool here we are <laughs> that whole time i wasn't recording any freaking video brilliant steven brilliant all righty uh earlier i was doing a live recorded match and someone called me in the middle of the video and so since that happened I did not get an opportunity to record the part where I was on the phone, which is entertaining because it's hard to record when your camera is your iPhone. Here, I don't know if I should reveal the Ice Punch, but I also need to scare him out. He's probably just going to go for uh, Protect, which I don't care about. We're just gonna Ice Punch. Yeah, he just protects. Whatever, whatever. I can scare him out in this regard at the very least. I didn't write down his team. We're gonna see how good my memory is. Although I guess the main things to remember are his immunities are to normal and to electricity. Uh, now he knows I'm going for the Ice Punch, we know he's not going to go out and let his Carnivine. Uh, probably not Obama Snow either, since Electivire can carry Fire-type moves. Uh, Darkrai is probably not going to come in, because Darkrai is very frail. Uh, he might think that I am Scarfed, because he hasn't seen my item yet. And so that means... I don't think he's going to stay in here. Although he might be able to take an Ice Punch, I am Expert Belted, so I... Even if he's max HP, max defense, he's going to be playing kind of a difficult game there. I see him switching out here into Dust No Wire, really. Uh, but I don't want to risk that. If he switches out into Dust No Wire, I'd rather just Ice Punch it and then use Taunt. No, he's going to stay in. Sweet. Kaboom, son. Alrighty, die. Yeah. Oh, that was a crit. I don't know if that crit mattered. If he's max HP, max defense. It may have mattered just because Glax scores has a really good ability to take hits. Physical hits, rather. Can't take special hits very well. Uh, 
But I, I don't know why he stayed in there, actually. Because he could have easily gone out into Dust and Wire and sponge anything that I went for. Electivire is not really known to carry things that are good against Dust and Wire. Uh, and I don't like overpredicting early in the game anyways. Now, this Star Raptor is probably Banded. No, it's probably Scarfed, excuse me. Uh, Scarf Brave Bird will still hurt. I imagine it's going to go to go ahead and go for a U-turn right here. But he doesn't know that I mixed, um, which means that his Intimidate will not affect my Volt turn. My Volt turn. <laughs> I don't have U-turn and Volt switch on the same Pokemon. That would be the ultimate Volt turner. The only reason to do that is in case you want to have Volt switch to avoid contact and that you want to have U-turn to um, avoid ground types. That's the only reason that you have those two moves on the same Pokemon. Um, we're just going to go for a Volt switch expecting him to switch because I don't think U-turn is going to kill me. It shouldn't. Yep, there's a U-turn. Yay for him being Scarfed. I think he's Scarfed. Ow, that did a lot of damage though. Good grief, Star Raptor. Was that banded damage? That did a shitload of damage for it being an unstabbed, un, you know, no normal effectiveness U-turn. Okay, there's a Dust Noir that I was expecting earlier, which is great because now we can just Volt Switch out of here. Get some nice uh, momentum going on. That is the amount of damage I expected that to do to that thing, honestly. Um, my best switch here is going to be Drapion. No, he might be able to burn me. That would be annoying. It will be nice to trick it with Togekiss, though. Not going to lie. Um, let's see. I don't know what to switch out to. Drapion would be a good switch just because of the typing, obviously. I resist his ghost moves. Dustin Wire can learn Earthquake, but it's not going to do that much to a defensive Drapion. Um, Togekiss is another good switch just because I have really, really high boosted special attacks with choice specs. I could also try to trick him, which would, that might be nice. I, I expect he's just holding Leftover or Chesto if he's Resto Chest. Um, although it's just nice to lock Dustin Wire into one move. Let's see, I'm gonna go out into Drapion just because I have the super effective dark move. And if he switches out, I can hit something else with a knockoff. I think that that's a pretty good, uh, yeah, and it'd be nice to get rid of the leftovers on this thing if he stays in. I don't think he's going to stay in. He could take any one hit. He can burn me. I'm not particularly worried about any of those things. I could also set up Toxic Spike since he doesn't have a poison type Pokemon. Let's just go for the knockoff though. Just because. Here's the knockoff, folks. And it's just a black loozle. Wow, that did a lot of damage for me being defensive. I just, I just imagine, I just imagine Dust Noir eating like an apple, and this Drapion just goes, put that shit down. <laughs> he just knocks it out of his hand, and Dust Noir was like, that was my apple. And he summons Will Wisp, the spirits, to burn Drapion. This makes perfect sense in my head. How about you? All right, so now Toxic Spikes, because I don't think he can do anything to me. Ah, he's switching. I'm happy that I'm burned because now if he switches into, um, oh shit. We're going to have to roar. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to do with the bomb of snow, but it won't be good. So now I can get up one layer of toxic spikes, though, which is fantastic. Uh, especially against the likes of um, Darkrai, which I'm going to be relegated to using Fake Out against and hoping that it takes poison damage. Because Ambipom is not faster. I did have a funny battle where um, Ambipom was randomly faster than a Latios. That was pretty entertaining. And I used Last Resort and whooped his ass. But that's neither here nor there. I'm happy I didn't. he didn't switch out last turn because then I would have tried to knock off on the Obama Stone and it would not have worked. But then again, I would have been burned if that happened. So, I don't know. That's neither here nor there. We're roaring because he's going to Mega Evolve. Probably just going to go for a Blizzard. I am defensive though. It won't KO me. Drapion has surprisingly sturdy defenses. Um, so, I don't see this KOing, honestly. Nope. Oh, I might even live the burn. Hell yes. Good job, Drapion. Get out of here, you. Alrighty, out of the, okay, that sucks, because now he's just going to be able to attack. Oh, well. At least, oh, if he has a Sash, it's gone now, at least. Oh, man, I forgot about the Hail. Oh, no, but I have Black Sludge. I might still be able to live the, uh, I think I'm going to live this burn. Of course, he's faster. Um. Yeah, yeah, I was right, I was able to live the burn. I did my math right in my head. Alrighty, then. So... If he tries to go for anything, I imagine he just has a focus that he may also be scarfed. Um, I'm just going to put up my second layer of toxic spikes. He might, he's probably just going to attack me though, to be honest. But 
I don't really need to switch out right here. Drapion has kind of done his job. It crippled the Dust and Wire. It poisoned, it's poisoned two of his Pokemon already. So yeah, <laughs> his has Ice Beam just like the Drapion in, um, in the show. It's like, Ash is the first person to defeat this guy's Drapion. And then he sends out Latias. That was a big F you to all the work Ash did that season. Spoilers if you haven't seen that episode, but if you haven't seen that battle, it's quite good. You should go watch it. Alrighty then, to avoid something being put to sleep, we're going to go out into Amipom. And yes, he is probably just going to switch out into Dust No Wire, but that is okay. I want to force him to do that. Uh, now he might also, let's see, I could switch expecting him to switch to Dust No Wire. Because that is, it is super obvious that I'm going to go for Fake Out here. Otherwise, he would just be able to use Dark Void and put something to sleep. Right, he doesn't miss. So if he switches out to Dust and Wire, he'll get poisoned. And then I can switch out into Togekiss or Gastrodon. Those are kind of my choices there. He might also have Pain Split and that would really suck because then he would get all that HP back. So let us assume, I think I need to play safely here because I can't really mess around with stupid Darkrai. Okay, he is going to switch out to Dust and Wire. That's fine. I can't, I can't really play games with that thing, unfortunately. I knew that he would probably switch out into Dust No Wire, but with a threat like that on his team, I can't really give him any leeway. Um, and what's nice here is that he will get buffeted by the hell and take poison damage. Um, so in that way, I don't have anything to hit him with. I could hit him with the non-existent payback. I wish I had the non-existent payback on my Amy Palm right now. Alas, I do not have that. So in case he goes for Pain Split, we're gonna go out in the Terror Bite. Because I can still outspeed him. He won't get that much HP back. Um, he may just try to burn. In which case, I'll be relegated to using will o -Wisp for the rest. I mean, Volt Switch for the rest of the battle. Okay, Trick Room. That sucks too. Although, that helps me out more than it helps him. Because, oh no, Mega Obama Snow. Alrighty, that's a thing. That is a thing. Obama Snow, I will have to deal with how? I don't know how I'm going to deal with Obama Snow now. Um... Mm -hmm. Damn it. Gastrodon and Torterra are now really freaking important. <laughs> Unfortunately, Torterra can't do anything against Obama Snow. Nor can Gastrodon really. I can I can recover stall to get the trick room away, I guess. I feel like he's just gonna attack here though. I don't think he's gonna burn me. Let's see. Let's just go into what is he gonna do here? Cause he's gonna die from poison. Is he gonna pain split? If he pain splits, I need to just stay in. Okay. Volt switch. Aw, oh, he has the earthquake. I should have switched out like I thought I should. Oh well. Sorry, Terabyte. That was a poor play on my part. Earthquake, will wish probably Shadow Punch. I'm not sure what his last move will be. It's probably a ghost move. Well, now I know he probably doesn't have pain split though. But it doesn't matter because he's dead. I could have just switched into Togekiss that turn and saved myself a whole mess of trouble. But whatever. Alright, so I need to stall the Trick Room. So we're going to go out into Ambipom so that I can fake out against whatever he brings in. Which is Carnivine. He's probably going to go for his Sleep Powder here, I would imagine. Uh, Carnivine can also carry Swords Dance. It's funny because people use Pokemon like Carnivine, which have awesome designs. They're not Their stats aren't very good. And they have unique things that they can do. Like I think back, back in 5th Gen, Carnivine was like one of the few in you Pokemon that got Sleep Powder, besides like Vileplume and then Vileplume moved up to Aru. Uh, but at the same time, it's just really good to have general knowledge of what your opponent might do. Cause like here, it's most people are like, I have no idea what to expect from a Carnivine, but since I've trained two Carnivines, which one, I actually traded one to Chewy, cause his trader name was Chewy, and so I was training Carnivines, and he named my Carnivine Chomper. And so I have a Chomper that was hatched by Chewy. <laughs> I don't know. That type of thing really invigorates me. So he has three turns left on his Trick Room. Um, if he's going to put something to sleep, I think it needs to be Gastrodon. I think. No, I shouldn't switch a Gastrodon into a uh, that type. Uh, I think he's just going to go for the Sleep Powder. Okay, yeah. Hopefully he doesn't sub up or something. I'm surprised he didn't go directly out into Obama Snow, because that thing kind of wrecks my team right now. Okay, yeah. Oh, sweet. He just goes straight for the Power Whip. That's pretty nice. Whoa! That did a lot of damage. 
<laughs> Do not mess around with Carnivine. Um, I'm going to guess he's banded from that damage, actually. And we're going to go for the... From this range, a Specs Dazzling Gleam will definitely KO, so we're just going to do that. That way, if he switches, I can still... Oh, he, he's not banded. That did a lot of damage. Good grief. Alrighty. We're going to Daz that Gleam. Ooh, look at my pretty body. I really hate that that's Togekiss's best fairy move is Dazzling Gleam, a move that's just 80 base power and it doesn't do anything else. Oh well, there are definitely worse things. I just needed to stall up that Trick Room. Now I can be faster than his Obama Snow, although his Obama Snow very likely has Ice Shard. Not afraid of that, um, especially since Torterra can take one, although I shouldn't be in the position where that's a thing. Oh, oh, he can't, uh, oh, he has Ice Beam. Damn it. <laughs> I was about to say he can't put me to sleep. Hooray. Aww. It was a sad day in the neighborhood. Okay, we're just gonna switch out to Gastrodon here. He's probably just gonna go for Ice Beam, which is okay. Wish I had Miracle on Gastrodon. I will not get to use Counter this battle. Darn it, I wanted that to happen. He might also go for Dark Pulse. Sludge Bomb, he predicted me to go into Torterra, which is odd, because then he should've, oh no, Sludge Bomb would've just been super effective. No, he should've gone for Ice Beam, because then it would've been super effective against two Pokemon and neutral against um, my other two. But he did give a poison, so... Although that's not good for him, because now he can't um, put me to sleep. I'd much rather be poisoned. Because regular poison, I can just heal that off, really. Let's see here. We're going to go for the Skaloud. In case he switches out, if he stays in. He might have Energy Ball, in which all case, this is moot. Completely moot. I wonder which form of Gastrodon ended up being more popular, East or West. Because I typically like the blue... The, I believe that's the east one. But I, whenever I watch battles, most people are just using the pink. I don't know if that's because they like the pink one or if that's just the default one and they don't bother changing the color. Um, and when I say watching battles, I mean it's showdown. But yay, we got the biggest darn threat on his team out of the way, which is Darkrai thing. Goodness. With that thing out of the way, I can now breathe a general sigh of relief. I need to see if his... Um, He's gonna bring out Obama Snow now. If I need to see if it has Ice Shard, because if it doesn't have Ice Shard, then Togekiss can kill it. If it does, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to kill it, honestly. Because uh, he's just gonna go for a Wood Hammer or something like that here. And great, it's hailing again. I, I've never, I've only been in hail, like physically outside in the hail once, and it does hurt to get hit by bits of hail over and over and over. Um, I, I remember when we lived in Kansas for a little while. This is one of my few memories from when I was a, that young because I lost a lot of those memories during the lightning strike. But um, there was a time where we literally were seeing golf ball and baseball size hail. And my dad went outside and I had to help him cover the car up with like a tarp so that the car wouldn't get heavily damaged by all the hail because we didn't have a garage back then. Jeez, I was like back in... 1994 or something ridiculous. Um, Alrighty then, so we're just gonna go out. No, I just need to stay in here, actually. Because Gastrodon has kind of done his job. I'm gonna recover in case he tries something weird. Okay, I'm faster. I know Mega Obama still was slow, but holy crap, I wasn't expecting him to be that slow. There's the wood hammer. No, yeah, that was good, because I was gonna take a ton of recoil. I like this. There's no way I was gonna live that, so going for counter would have been pointless, but he's going to take a nice amount of recoil damage from that since I got all that HP back. And now poison damage. So sweet. Okay. Well, if Gastrodon was faster, then I know that a fake out last resort combo should be able to finish him off from this point, honestly. Uh, he might have Ice Shard, but it won't be able to KO me. So we're going to go for fake out. It's so nice that, I, that the Destin Wire is out of the way. Fake out. Ooh, if I had gotten enough Toxic Spikes, this thing would be dead. Oh well. Yeah, now for Last Resort, he's probably just gonna go for Ice Shard. His last Pokemon is, uh, is what? I don't remember. See, this is why you write down the team, darn it. Uh, last Resort, go. There's the Ice Shard. That's why I didn't want to bring Togekiss in here. And that's not gonna do much because Ice Shard is a really weak attack, but Last Resort, baby, woo! Alrighty. Obama Snow is down. That critical hit was not needed. Good job, Amy Palm. Do any of you guys do that too? Do you say good job to your Pokemon when they knock something out or when they come through? 
it's it's a thing that I've I've always done since I first played. It's just like, yeah, good job. Oh, that's his last. It would be this thing. Okay, so we definitely have to switch here. He's probably just gonna brave bird, which is okay. Um, so basically, I need to switch out to. I'm gonna switch out to Guardian in case he close combats. Because I think he's banded. Because that U turn did way too much damage to Electivire earlier. Um, and this will allow him to take some recoil damage. Oh, great. I don't think he's banded then if he's going for close combat. Let's see. Defense and special defense going down. Get hit by that hail. I don't think he's banded. If he were banded, it doesn't make sense to go for the close combat. Um, granted, if he were Scarf, that doesn't make sense either, because Torterra can take those moves. Oh well, we'll see. Let's just go for the safe Dazzling Gleam here. Oh, he is banded. Or he's, he's banded or Scarfed or something. This won't kill, I don't think. Oh no, it kills because of the poison. Oh well. That is okay, now I get to go out to Amipom and hit him with his minus two defenses and hit him with the fake out, which is quite nice. Um, the hail does stop, which is unfortunate because I would have liked more defense drops and, uh, you know, any chip damage helps. Because now we're going to go out into Ambipon, hit him with a fake out, then switch it into Tor Torterra, and then he's going to get hit with another fake out. So he has two more fake outs coming his way, basically. One fake out. And this probably won't kill, even with minus two. Nope. This is why we needed that hail damage. Um, yeah, I guess he was kind of, he had his hands tied there. Because if he had gone for a Brave Bird... He would have been, that's why I had, I was saving Torterra. I wanted him to have a bunch of recoil damage in the background there. Torterra, you didn't get a chance to do much in this match, buddy. So here's the close combat. This is not going to do much to Torterra at all. Um, yeah, that's barely a 2-hit KO. Barely. And this isn't even a defensive Torterra. This one has max HP, max attack. A, it has synthesis alongside stealth rocks, wood hammer, and earthquake, so... Yeah, for me being non-defensive at all, that was pretty impressive. So I don't think he's going to KO me, and I'm going to get a chance to finish him off with a wood hammer here. So that was a great match, Chewy. Good job, man. That was fun. Rotera holds on barely with 6 HP, and now he has minus, what, 4 defenses? Yep, wood hammer is going to KO for sure. I don't even think I'm going to die to the recoil because he has so little HP left. I think I might take 2 in recoil. We'll see if that happens. But thank you very much for that battle. We're gonna, oh, I took three to recoil. No, if I were a better trainer, I would have guessed three instead of two. Oh well. Still a good match. That was a tough match right there. Especially with him bringing Darkrai. That made things considerably difficult. Um, but I had a lot of fun with that match. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you're not, uh, if you would like to battle Chewy on Twitter, he is at Mike Hobbs, at M I K E H O B B S. S2 and he's Chewy28 on there. So be sure to go check him out and hope you all enjoyed this live content and I will see you all in the future at some point, I guess. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. All right. Bye-bye guys.